you can actually see a fireplace up there. That's the chimney. Whoa, that's an owl. Whoa, there's a massive white barn owl in here that just flew off. All right, guys, welcome to the vlog. We're in another new and weird and mysterious location. Look at these gates, man. I can tell you a little bit about them in a minute, but it's not just the gates that are here. Well, there's even a kitchen sink down there. If we make our way through the back of these, we will find an actual manse, right? Which is like a mini mansion. There's um, a little house where the groundskeeper used to work, which we'll see, and then basically, um, it was um, a, group, a family called the Hoods, and there was quite an influential rich family that lived in the area. We're in Nettleham, um, Nettleham, it's like pronounced, but uh, Nettleham. And uh, yeah, look, private keep out. We're about to go into these absolutely mad place. Already looks like, I don't know, a horror movie or something. You can imagine the amount of effort that went into making these. Um, I've got a bit of information about the gates and then we'll, uh, we'll go in. I'm not sure if it will open. Um, so these great wrought iron gates originally made in 1720 for the now derelict church of St. Peter at Arches, Lincoln. Behind those gates, you'll be mistaken for thinking uh, in the woodland, there is actually hidden houses and stuff. So like a mini mansion, we're gonna go have a look at that in a minute. It's quite a sick location. Uh, and we can just get through. I don't know which direction it's in. There's a woodland to explore. <laughs> I'm with me dad. <laughs> And, uh, but just looking at the front of this, that is an insane view. So um, we're gonna see if we can find a way around now and have a look, so stay tuned. Right, so we actually, come around this way, Dad. So there is sort of like a path to it. Obviously, can you imagine the uh, the horses and stuff coming through here? So the um, the manse itself was damaged by fire, and they had to clear out. Um, so I'm not sure how much left the sta standing, but nature has started to make its way back through. So we should come across. Well, this is our route at the minute. So you would not even know that there was like a hidden mansion behind all of this stuff, which is insane. So I guess we just follow the path that people have made where they've been exploring before. So after traveling through the wilderness for a little minute, we're starting to see some buildings now and it looks like a horror movie set. If you come here at night, look at that. So I think this is the groundskeeper's lodge first, and then we're gonna get to the main house after this. So let's have a look. Like I said, rich influential family called the Hoods. Um, and this is like Nettleham Hall. So it's, you know, a manor type area. Um, yeah, and look at this guys. Wow. I'm not sure if there's a specific way to do this. I know you can get into some areas, but. And there's another house around there. So I think their current house is on the right there. So we'll stick to the left here, out of sight. And this is just the groundskeeper's house. The main house is over that way, the big one. So that's for the groundskeeper's house. In the 18th century, is uh, that's pretty good, really. You get to live in that just for cutting the grass. All right. And it's quite, kind of nice. Uh, wooded area as well. Obviously someone's been in graffiti, I can see already. Right, coming up to it, look how tall that is. Wow. You could imagine the size of this. There is gates up, but um, I did a bit of research. And we can get through some gaps somewhere, unless they've changed it. But it is in disrepair. Look at the size of it, you've actually got trees fully growing through it which just shows how long this has been derelict 200 years is an insane amount of time oh 
That is insane how the everything's grown back and nature has taken the house back. Okay, so we're going to continue round the fence in here. There might be a way in or whatever, but look at that. I mean, that's basically down there. But you can tell where people have come because there's literally a natural path being made all the way around. I'm not sure if that is. Oh, no. No, I don't think so. They look like you could, but they've put up new fences. All right, we did find a little gap in the fence, so we're gonna have a little look, but we're still gonna keep safe. So, I'm gonna pop her head in. Holy moly, man. Wow, look how much nature has taken this thing back. Oh my God, this is insane. Imagine living in here, man. This is massive. Look down there. Look, there's like, that would be the basement then, I'm guessing. Wow. Look at this, man. Jeez, it's so tall. Okay, so you can actually see a fireplace up there. That's the chimney. Whoa, that's an owl. Whoa, there's a massive white barn owl in here that just flew off. I don't know if I got that, that's insane. Oh my God, guys. I don't want to spend too long in here. This is a good experience. Look at this. Smallest door I've seen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a, a massive white barn owl just flew out next door. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, it would be beautiful. If you come in here, look at the fireplace. Oh yeah, beautiful. It's amazing, isn't it? It's massive. Yeah, and they're like railway sleepers, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They've taken ages to burn. This place is honestly, it just looks lost in time. It's like, like an article said, an Indiana Jones movie or something. We'll go back down. I'm really glad that we managed to get in there. Yeah, there's nothing there. Just look up though. That is mad. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy here, you. Yeah, that's uh, as much as I can think of. Two hundred years old. It looks mental. It's nature's like I'm having this back. That's what I said. <laughs> you know what? You can. I'm not. Not my torch. Wow, if something's not living down there, it is, it's boarded off. There's, well, blocked up like with stones, so 
you can't really go any further than that, but... <laughs> yeah. All right. Wow. That was honestly awesome. Adventure. Okay. Yeah, I think we're coming this way, didn't we? Ooh, just have to have a look in here. Obviously, people find a way to come and graffiti. And it's just mad how you're in a building as tall and as good as this and there's <laughs> roots and trees and things growing out of the walls up there. Look what's left where they've plastered the walls. These walls are dry lined. Yep. That's been put onto the stonework. A gap behind an air gap. Lats and then plastered. You can see the remains of the plaster. Yeah. That would have been painted or wallpapered. And another fireplace up there where the second floor starts. So how tall are the ceilings up? 15, 20 feet. I think the floor's maybe where that wood is there. Yeah, yeah, that's... How many of me? That's that before you get to the next level of... <laughs> Three? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Uh... 18 to 24 feet. Yeah, yeah, with windows like this. Yeah. It'd have been stained glass, I think. Look, an old cattleman rider's glove. Yeah, I kicked that at you as you were walking. Thanks. <laughs> Hooked. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> and a, a pair of pants. <laughs> And you running off into the distance in your, in your undies, yeah. <laughs> oh, that just got stuck on the gate on the way out, that's pretty funny. Uh, the, the only one nail to exist in this property and he found it. <laughs> but look at it from there. Honestly. Alright then. Back to the wrought iron gates of the 18th century. Honestly, they're going to be there forever. See, the halls you usually go to are, are functioning with yes. tea rooms and... That's right. Piano. Yeah. Antique furniture. But that's proper stuck in time. Imagine that being on your property. You have to do something with that. Yeah. Yeah, suppose if you've got acres of land, you have a long drive to the house, because you'll have... Well, you just trot, won't you? Yeah, on your gallop. <laughs> right, we're back. The Iron Gates of Misery. Watch your head. And that's it guys, we're in and out. Private keep out, but... Oh yeah. We missed a guard dog sign. <laughs> I think autumn was the best time to do it as well. Just because of the look. The area is foggy. You know, the leaves are on the ground. Oh, yeah, it's so good. So that concludes the vlog. Uh, hope you liked it. Mini mansion. Mance, we call it. Um, yeah. Amazing. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs>